Hi, I'm Jason with Jason's Health Coaching, Longevity, and Relaxation Therapy. And I want to make a video today of something that's very important to me that I do almost every morning if, uh, as, as much as I can, if not every morning, um, is I drink a green smoothie. And I want to talk about the importance of getting those nutrients in the very first thing in the morning. Um, everybody's familiar with the term of breakfast, which is to break a fast. And I've always felt that it's very good to break a fast first thing in the morning with the most nutrient dense thing. And the reason being, if you uh, know anything about uh, diabetes or pre-diabetes, and you don't have to have those um, problems, those symptoms, um, but you'll know that your body is more receptive first thing in the morning to accept nutrients, to accept uh, insulin. If you're insulin resistant, you're more receptive to insulin in the morning because you haven't eaten for an extended period of time. You fasted. That's why you're breaking your fast. So if you're gonna eat something extremely healthy, I think it's always good to start out with um, something uh, with a green smoothie or something like that. So um, I just wanted to show real quick what I put in mind. Some of the reasons why um, I really don't think about it as much now that I'm into the routine of it. But what I do basically is I have some carrots. Carrots are good. Everybody knows about beta carotene and lutein and stuff like that. It's very good for your, uh, for your vision. But it's also good for, um, I've seen some things about anti-estrogen. I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you all these things are true that you see on the internet, but you can simply Google the health benefits of carrots and you can see those things. They say that it helps with uh, premature aging. It doesn't say aging, it says premature aging. So um, what I do is I'll just take a handful in each bag. I have a 16 ounce bag of here that I've already prepped. I know you didn't want to watch me uh, wash them, so I, uh, so I did that. But yeah, the health benefits of carrots, and of course you got the fiber. Fiber is always good. Uh, keeps you regulated, keeps you clean, and that's more important than a lot of people know or a lot of people uh, talk about. So if you can uh, get those fibers, get those things first thing in the morning. Um, like I said, I have 10 bags and I just uh, sparse it out. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I just uh, distribute it between the 10 bags. I usually put about three or four. Some of them will have a little more, some of them will have a little less, uh, depending on. Uh, how uh, heavy-handed I am going in. Then when I get to the end there, uh, see about what you got left. Three in there, you got one more bag, and three in there, you've already gotten started. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze these. So I'll put those in there, and then we can start. Then we're gonna go on to the celery. Celery, a lot of people don't know about the health benefits of celery. They know it's fibrous, so it's very high in fiber, of course. But also, it's, um, uh, supposedly it helps reduce blood pressure. Uh, if you have blood pressure problems, you might want to look into that. Uh, I'm more into the natural things than supplements. Um, and the, one reason I like to combine all these things is kind of, in my way, I think of it as a multivitamin. So if you have multiple things, um, taking them all together, then these things can interact with one another. So if you're taking a vitamin, say you take a vitamin C, um, personally, as a health coach, uh, longevity coach, I would uh, recommend, strongly recommend, that you get the vitamin C complex. Or if you're taking a vitamin B of some sort, I recommend you take a vitamin B complex because they're designed for the things that work better in conjunction with one another. Things that will help you um, uh, absorb that better into your body. So that's what I, I recommend on the vitamins and things. But if you're doing this, it's not that big of a deal because those nutrients already come naturally in the fruits and vegetables and things. And uh, so that's, if you can get it that way, I highly recommend that, you know. It's not always that convenient, but then again, that's also why um, I'm doing it this way. I'm doing it uh, so that I can freeze it every morning. I throw it in the microwave for one minute because it's still, still relatively frozen when I put it in the blender. So speaking of which, this is pineapple. Pineapple, so it gives it a little sweetness, of course, but you also have enzymes and things in there that are very good for the digestion. And, uh, and things like that. It's a good little source of natural energies. Um, don't be scared of the word sugar or fructose. Don't, don't, it's not, it's not going to make you fat I mean, unless you're just sitting around eating pineapple uh, all day, every day, which I don't, I don't see it happening because, like I said, it's, uh, those enzymes are good for the digestion, but if you get too much, it's, you know, you're not going to, trust me, you're not going to gain any weight. But, uh, um, there's, I'm sure there's lots of other health benefits that I'm just not, uh, like I said, I've been doing this for so long. And there's reasons that I added everything into here um, the way that I do. I just got into such a routine. It's like, okay, this is healthy now. 
and I don't really think about what it is. So, and hopefully you can get to that point too. All right, last but far from least, I get some sort of mixed berries. Now, today I'm using berries, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of what I have here. I have cherries. Cherries is good, especially for men. Men, if you're having any kind of circulatory problems or any problems, you know, down there, uh, very good for you um, for a circulation of things. Strawberries to me is a filler. I actually love strawberries, but not really in my green smoothie. But that's what was in this uh, big bag of mixed berries that I picked up at Walmart. Um, that was all they had at the time. So, And I did literally just do the same thing. The, again, mixed berries though, very high in antioxidants. So uh, very good at uh, helping with, um, like I said, they don't cure cancer, but you know they help your body fight off things that uh, may develop into cancer. They help with blood cells. Blueberries are in here also, which supposedly helps with memory. Um, I, I think so. I, I hope so, because I eat a ton of blueberries, usually in my uh, blueberry uh, French toast, which I'm going to make a video about. It's a low-calorie French toast. Um, it's not my recipe, but uh, newly discovered. Um, and by eating this, I usually eat this before I go to the gym. I don't do fasted cardio because I want my body to have some building blocks when I go into the gym. So. Um, I got that uh, theory from uh, doc, not doctor, from Coach uh, Greg Doucette. Uh, if you ever haven't seen his channel, check it out. He talks about fasted cardio, and yeah, you uh, get a lot of stuff out of fasted cardio, but you have no building blocks to use the things, the growth hormones, or whatever it is you you think you're getting or are searching for. So, uh, so there we have it. This is my basically my things, and I, like I said, I really believe that once you uh, put it all together, all of these vitamins and minerals and uh, all these things are helping each other, you know. You don't want too much more than that. That's about it right there. And I'll make another video on how I actually prep my green smoothies. But that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to close all these up and uh, put them in the freezer, take them out one by one every morning. So I have the next 10 days. So if you're looking for a way to improve your health, uh, do something that you can do quick in the morning, this is probably the ticket for you. And, uh, and I still eat breakfast now. I'll, I'll drink this before I go work out or as I'm going to work out and then I'll leave it in my vehicle because you know, I go work out early in the morning. It's still cool. And uh, so after that, I'll, I'll finish it off on my way to work. Then once I get to work, I eat my very planned out <laughs> breakfast. But um, I'll make a video on it. But I also put spinach, baby spinach, because it blends up very well. So put a little water, possibly a couple cubes of ice, not much and uh, blend those up, and I think I'll make another video on that. But uh, put this in the microwave for an hour, not an hour, for one minute, and then I'll uh, just throw it all together in the blender, blend it up, a little bit of protein, uh, not a whole lot, because you gotta watch your calories if you're trying to lose weight. You'd be surprised how many calories are in um, protein supplements. And if you're not a bodybuilder, then you're not really looking for that many calories, and you don't really need that as much protein as some people want you to think. You know, if you're trying to eat healthy and eat a little bit of protein with every meal, you're probably getting enough protein. So, uh, more on that later. So, there it is from uh, Jason Hood's um, health coaching, uh, vitality coaching, and uh, relaxation therapy. If you have any questions, just put them in the uh, comments down below. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more about this or more about what I do or what I'm doing, how I've lost the last 20 pounds. That's right. I've been I've been drinking these and doing other things that have, I've lost 20 pounds recently. Um, not just since I've been doing the coaching thing, but uh, found a lot of information out there, doing a lot of uh, really cool things. So, anyways, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, see where we're going with this.